It's out of here. Rock and roll. What's going on guys? It's Justin here with Brian in the Summit Racing Studio and we have something very fun for you guys today. We got ourselves a fresh six liter and we're gonna be doing a cam and head swap on this thing and making some big power. And you know, we have Brian here who is kind of our LS guru here at Summit Racing to uh, help me with this and uh, walk me through this deal. I'm a big small block Chevy guy. You know, these uh, LSs, I've tinkered with a few of them, but um, he is really the, uh, the man when it comes to these. I do a lot of parts for Summit uh, in terms of the Pro LS line, so cranks, rods, pistons, you name it, uh, cylinder heads, and we also do you know, small block, big block, Chevy Ford, Chrysler, a bit of everything, but it's a lot of fun. Get to come to the studio and work with Justin, and especially with a six liter. Now, the interesting thing is you say you're a small block guy, but this isn't even going in a Chevy. Yeah, so this thing is actually going in a 78 F100. You know, it's a very popular saying, LS swap the world, and uh, that's exactly what we're doing. So that's where our small block Ford stuff comes in. We got plenty of that, but this thing is gonna make a ton of steam and it's gonna look great doing it. Uh, what do you got for other parts? I heard it's got a pretty cool intake. Yeah, so this thing is actually getting one of that big Holly high rise bolted on top. And uh, you know, the thing is glorious and it's actually, it's really cool. We got the intake a little ahead of a time and we actually had it color matched to the wheels on the truck. I can't wait for you guys to see it. The thing is absolutely gorgeous. We got one of our, our sticks in the thing. Uh, it's the 8728 Big Torquinator. Specs on the thing are about a 212, 218 at 50 cam. So the goal of this cam is maximum torque. And also with an eye on gas mileage, you know, so it's one of these things, a lot of people want chop and it's gonna have a little bit of chop. We've got other cams that are way choppier. So with that, uh, what do you have for a timing chain? It's a LS3 style chain. Yeah. So, so on the chains, we've got a bunch of different ones, but so with small block, you do not go double roller on the things basically ever. The LS2 timing chain is great, but they're a little sloppy. We've got another chain set, tightens it up a little bit. It's got degree bushings in it if you want to, but we got 24X, we got 58X. And again, you know, say you want to dial the thing in a little bit left or right, retarded or advanced, no problem. That's what the timing gear is for. So you got the 317 truck heads, which are a great head, but they got a big chamber inside. Compression's a little bit on the eh side. It's good for if you're towing with 87 octane, but you know, we're gonna put some good octane gas in the thing. So you're gonna have the smaller chambers. It's gonna make a lot of steam. And what do you get for lifters? We're gonna be using our Summit brand. It's the- uh, LS7 lifters? Yep, the LS7 okay. lifters. So this is one key thing I wanna talk about on lifters. There are a lot of LS7 knockoff lifters out there. And I won't name the places that you can buy these things, they are probably not the real deal. If you've heard something sketchy about LS7 lifters, it's because people are calling lifters that aren't even remotely LS7, LS7. We get the real deal here at Summit Racing, so you can trust us when you buy a lifter, and it's gonna work great. We sell thousands of these things without any issue. They get a little bit more RPM out of them, easy to set up, and it's, it's my favorite lifter for the masses. Yeah, and that's the thing. And the key to you know building one of these LSs and kind of hot rodding one a little bit is you know you don't have to put rods in one of these if you don't want to. It doesn't need an aftermarket crank. There's good parts in these, but you can bolt cams, a decent set of heads, and a couple other accessory parts. And like you said, this thing's gonna make some steam. And with that, are you ready to start pulling this thing apart? Yeah, let's yank it apart. Rock and roll. So usually when they do the cam swaps in car, you just roll the cam over 720 degrees and all the lifters will pop up into the trays. Later on, just run back down with push rods. Easy peasy.
it's out of here. So we cut this thing all tore down and it, it went really fast. We're good like that. Yeah, you know, we're, uh, we've done this a Down a couple of times, yeah. Now, just looking inside this thing and tearing it apart, it is absolutely gorgeous. Like, um, I mean, it's kind of confirmed low mile six liter, but looking on the inside, yeah. this thing is was taken well care of. It's low miles, there's no ridge. So yeah, no ridge, the pistons aren't super carboned up, the valley's nice and clean, so it doesn't have like the muck in there if they never did oil changes. So it's been treated to regular oil changes. The lifters came out nice, so no weirdness there. Nothing came flying out, so I think we got a good one. Yeah, and uh, so with a good one, that means that we can shove a bunch of good parts in it. Heck yeah, all right, we're gonna do it. I think what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna check out the, the cam bearing clearance, because they look good, but I want to know how much you know cam bearing clearance we have in it. That way, in case we look at oil pressure later and it's a little low or something, we know what's going on. Yeah, we, we have may or may not choose it, you know, but we'll know. And with that, let's go ahead and get to work. Sounds good.